Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip, and I have a special guest with me today. It is Crow from The Last Bosses. Crow, want to say hello? How's it going, everybody? As Kip said, I am Crow from TLB, usually playing Pyro, and uh, I asked to sit in with Kip for this cast because I wasn't here, and I thought it'd be fun to do. And I am looking forward to getting uh, into the mindset of The Last Bosses. But first, we um, also, there's another team going on here. It's Claire McCart and... Um, I have not cast them before, but uh, Sal has cast them a lot, so they are familiar to me in that sense. But they're also familiar to you as well, aren't they? So would you like to go over the roster real quick? I would love to. We have Bo on Spy, Eliza on Demo, Justin Observer on Medic, Kella on Heavy, Xeno Cyber on Pyro, The Wonderful Phase on Sniper, <laughs> Jordan on Scout, Neronia on Engineer, and Zarlor on Soldier. All right, awesome. And we're watching the rope burn cam right now, and he is, of course, setting up his engineer stuff, and he is actually pretty late in um, this setup. He's got the dispenser in a very common spot, but his level two, his gun is only level two right now and is in the middle of the yard, so I am not sure about this. It is very easily spammable, and I'm pretty sure it will go down rapidly, but we will see what rope burn has in store. And so right now the cart is being pushed by... The scout, um, Jordan. I was confused because Justin Observer has also been a scout um, for Clay McCart. But um, yep, and there we go. There goes the sentry gun, just a couple of rockets, and Zarlor is able to take it out. Um, of course, Roper is down now too, so he's going to be scurrying to get a second defense up. We'll see where he goes for that. Regent Caucasian going big on the cart, getting a stab on Zarlor and Xeno Cyber, but here comes the blue Uber. Popped. Didn't seem to notice the uh, red soldier on the left roof, and they pushed through that, and he was just spamming rockets the entire time, forced him to pop Uber a little before they wanted to as well. That is true. That is Eric on the roof getting some nice height there, and you're right, just kind of being a sneaky little ninja soldier there, just getting some spam down, no one else noticing. Um, here comes Kella out the door. She doesn't notice either. Of course, Kella is a female gamer, so we're going to draw as much attention to that as possible on Kip TV. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. We're not going to pull the girl power card just yet. All right, so the card is being pushed. Um, Roper and trying to set up some other type of defense. Looks like his telly went down, so he's trying to get that back up. Mm, oh, and he switched to mini. That's why his telly went down, because he switched to mini. Um, not sure about that. So, you have experience with Pyro. Um, do you have experience with any other class in competitive TF2? Yeah, I just used to play NG a lot as well. Alright, so you'll be able to help me here. Here comes the uh, blue Uber again, popped on the demo. Eliza, and it looks like some damage going down, but again, that soldier... Um, that's, that's a wipe. That is close. <laughs> Yes, um, Eric is still alive though. He's lurking back here, trying to get some health. He's really low on health. Um, he is in the house. Uh, Lizer, the demo, has spotted him out though. He's probably... Oh, no, he hasn't. Oh, the spy has got them though. So Eric is down. Blue is pushing. They are pretty... They're going to have a nice nice little time here for this first cap. 221, not bad. Rope burn went down as well, trying to retreat out of that. So they're going to have to take some time to put up a sentry. So Blue is going to be able to push this card for a while without any worry of running into a level 3 sentry or even an uber from red. Indeed, yeah, Foil, the red medic, is just now building. He, I don't think I've seen him um, pop an uber yet. Have you? No, I don't think so. Alright, well, looks like they got his number then, so let's see what kind of defense red has going up, and yep, red Roper is just now putting up a sentry on the usual spot on this little balcony over the tunnel. We'll see if he can get it up, because of course that's going to be huge in defending the yard right here. Which is sometimes a hard hard place to defend, sometimes very easy. It really depends on the defense you get up. And here comes the blue uber taking down the sentry gun. And that's probably going to be... <coughs> ah, yes, <laughs> and that's probably going to be the end of the defense for red right there. Getting some good spam down, but again... Black Belt is down. Uber stuff for red. <coughs> they're pushing back into the tunnel, but they're seeing there's a level 3 sentry gun right there. That's uh, Neronia is doing some really aggressive engineer work right there. Coming out of that foil also was picked off trying to retreat after the Uber, so that, that, that back push didn't work well at all. 
Right, so that's going to give a huge duper advantage to Justin Observer. And the level 3 sentry is up again for Rope Burn, so they're probably going to take that uh, Uber in to take it down. Although, looks like Kella is way out of position here. She ran away without her medic, and now there's a spy on her, and she's dying in fire, and yeah, that's bad. But Justin Observer is close to Uber. I'm probably going to take in Eliza under, from this tunnel position. Indeed, that is what's happening. I'm really screwing up on my cam work. I'm glad you can't see it. <laughs> you at least, Crow. Everyone else can see it. Here's the Uber, and it does indeed take down everything. Four up for red. Blue has some nice numbers. Oh, they're actually going down. Eliza goes down. So not the numbers they want, but they are managing to cap the points. They also managed to set up a level 3 sentry, and they can just use the Wrangler, and they're spamming red out of that house. Oh, wow, Ooh. look at that. Appears to be... I think Black Belt appears to be stuck in there. That is some Ooh, great... With foil. So both both combo, or uh, heavy and medic, are stuck in house. Oh, man. And their team, with a level 3 sentry having to contest with as well. But they do have Uber, and they're coming out of the house right now. Oh! But Black Belt goes down to a backstab by Bio... <laughs> oh, Bio, and... Um, <laughs> Poor medic is running back trying to find somebody to Uber. Unfortunately, mm, Foil goes down to the backstab. Uh, Bio is able to get that uh, eventually. So, ooh, awkward. <laughs> so here comes the blue push through this very narrow choke, which can be very hard, again, depending on what kind of NG offense and where those heavy classes are. We do have a level three up. It's in a somewhat protected area. I haven't seen too much wrangling action though from Ropeburn, so we'll see if he pulls that out, which will be extremely helpful. Oh, here comes the Uber. It's on the heavy, so if he does pull out the Wrangler, he might be able to save it. He does not pull out the Wrangler, he's just repairing it right now. Fortunately, his pyro, though, is doing some nice blowback action, and the Uber is thwarted, and the gun is still up, so nice teamwork right there. Some good pyro action. Um, who is this pyro for you that uh, took your place? Um, DJ Operator, I was, he, he subbed in, this was actually before I was the starting pyro oh, for this okay. team, believe it or not, um, the game before. Ah, alright, so you took his spot. Alright. Kind of, we had a, we had a <laughs> bit of roster, ro no, roster mixing up where our soldier left us, our old pyro switched to soldier, and then we were looking for a pyro, and eventually they were like, oh whatever, I guess we'll just throw crow in there. <laughs> so that's how, that's how I joined, I guess. It's, uh, it's very similar to my UGC team, just complete, um, you're here, you're going to play this uh, class now. Alright, so some spam going down, oh I missed that, Eliza takes down the sentry gun, Rope Burn again was not wrangling. Um, FaZe gets a pick on the uh, sniper and ammo again, in the battle of snipers, FaZe is absolutely dominating this one. Yeah, I'll go on the FaZe cam for a second because he does have a nice angle here on... He was uh, on the medic. Oh, he just whiffed a shot on the medic. Um, I don't know. Whiffed is the right word, but missed indeed. I'm a terrible uh, sniper, so I really shouldn't judge. He does get a nice snipe on Blue, the scout. So let's go in and see the time. The cart is capped, but they about seven minutes, which is getting on the long side. Not... Terribly Ooh. there. Ooh, that heavy. Red was forced to pop Uber because the medic was out of place, was trying to run back, was eating some nice spam from their, their heavy and had to pop way before they wanted to. Yeah, now they're being pushed way back. Um, DJ Operator on the front lines with that. So Justin Observer is going to have a nice Uber advantage to push in here. Um, we're going to watch what Neronia decides to do because he has been doing some crazy uh, offensive work, but actually the heavy, Kella, is in the garage right now kind of out of position, kind of um, eating a sandwich, but um, <laughs> I think that, that's Black Belt. Also What's in that it? little house oh. by himself. Yep. Sorry, <coughs> right, never mind. All heavies look the same to me. It's kind of <laughs> racist, I know, but um, <laughs> terrible person. <laughs> All right, Kella though is behind the lines with 36 health. She is looking very paranoid right now. Blue Medic's out of position, trying to get back, and goes down to some nice spam by X. Oh wait, no, Kella is on the... I am going crazy, sorry. Never mind. Just ignore the last five minutes of what I said. Alright, so... Uh, Rope Burn 
setting up a sentry in a position I usually like too. Um, you have the ammo pack right near you, you have this protection of this fence type thing, and you can have a nice dispenser going on for your heavy and medic combo to just sit there and spam. Unfortunately though, he's getting spammed by the soldier and the level 1 goes down quite easily. If you're going to set a sentry there, you need to have your team pushed up because he's trying to put it up. Blue team knows it's going up there, so the moment it gets up, they're just popping around the corner and spamming as soon as they can. It's a great position. It's a great position if you can get it up, but it's it's hard to do if your team's holding that far back. Now red is pushing up a little bit more with the uber uber fades, and they fall back, which is always a good idea. They are now pushing the garage because it looks like there's a lot of spam coming out of the garage. Their blue has their scouts, uh, spy, uh, soldier wasn't in there, but now the garage is cleared out by the heavy medic combo, so... Oh, but there's a spy, I don't think they... Uh, nope, yep, spy goes down. Bio goes down to Black Belt's minigun. Oh, they switched to crits. Oh, indeed! Um, crits does come in, doesn't do a lot of damage to sentry until um, Roper goes down, and then they're able to easily take it out with those stickies. Heart is being pushed very strongly now, times three on it. What Blue needs to do is push up and just uh, right on cue, Zarlor is up here pushing this ramp. Oh, he gets... Oh my god, that looks so painful. Sorry, just <laughs> the ragdoll features on these. Oh, and that looked painful too. Um, Alright, they're not real people, I need to remember that. It's a uh, smart crits by Blue. If you're going to crits into a level three century, or level two, you need to take out the engineer first since crits don't do any extra damage to sentries and if you're just spamming it like normal the engineer can just repair it. They were very smart to take out Roper in first and then go for the sentry and then they had about a quarter of a crits left to try and take out as much of red as they could. Indeed, Justin Observer did go down though. Let's see if he is back to the regular Uber gun. So he's going to be building a little bit slow, slower than he was. He is also not using the Vita saw, so he doesn't preserve any of that percentage charge. FaZe has X's number. Every time I look up in the, uh, the, the kill icons, it says FaZe is killing X, so... Sorry, X. Aw. <laughs> X, of course, is the demo for Red. It looks like Blue is getting some nice presence on the cart. They are pushing forward. Does Red have any setup? Indeed. Ropeburn and the last bosses have a nice, a nice little uh, setup going right here. Um, fairly typical. Oh, but Bayo... Bio comes in and gets a stab on DJ Operator, but he doesn't manage to take down the engineer, so the gun is still up. But here comes some spam from an uh, Uber and Heavy. He's not going to be able to do much. He's way too far away. And also he's getting pressured now by the red Heavy Medic combo. So, mm, nice hold right there. And the last bosses, looks like... Oh, but oh, now oh. Bio gets the... the uh, gets rope burn with the stab and the si sapper down. Looks like DJ Operator is not running the homewrecker, so he can't help out there. That is, that's interesting. I do know most pyros will run, especially when they're this far back. It's usually better to run the uh, homewrecker, but if he hadn't died in a while, that might be part of the issue as well. He may not have been able to switch. Oh, and here goes the cart. Spy and Scout just barely managed to push it in, and that is a 12 minute. 14 seconds time, which isn't great. Um, it's easily beatable. So, not at all is lost for the last bosses. <laughs> which is good news to you. Of course, you probably know how this ends, but uh, don't spoil it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see what kind of setup Neronia goes for. Looks like he's actually going in the tunnel, which is what I usually do with Swiftwater. Indeed, he is. Yes, awesome. Engineer after my own heart. Building up the tunnel defense, which is, if you have your team right there to help you, it is almost impenetrable. At, uh, and they really need like a really strong uber and a really strong push to get in there. So we will see if this strategy works. As we saw with um, the last bosses, Roper and put his uh, sentry in the middle of the yard and it went down very easily to some soldier spam. So premature crits pop to uh, get some crit stickies on the door. I found that interesting by um, McCart. Yeah. I haven't seen that very often. 
It's an interesting strategy. Let's see when they decide to uh, detonate. Probably waiting for the heavy meta combo, but they are not coming. Or indeed, they're going to push out a different door. Uh, so they are detonating. Didn't get anyone with them. Or no, they are... Yeah, uh, fail. It's crit Sticky's right there. So now Red is going to be at a severe disadvantage because they have not only... Oh, but Foil goes down! Jordan gets in behind him, I think. Uh, that's a scout and a nice pick. Um, Jor uh, yeah, so Foil drops that uber. It's never good. That is so not good, especially in that opening push where you really, really need that momentum. Looks like Raging Caucasian got behind their li um, Red's lines, but uh, Xenocyber is able to find him out and it looks like he's just playing Pry Pybro right now which is such a good idea right here in this tunnel because then he can uh, just air blast stickies and air blast pills away um, as well as ubers so we'll see how that works for the meanwhile lots of action going down in this yard just an observer still running the crits indeed um, looks like he actually probably popped one and we missed that or I did at least I didn't see it either, so. All right, so it should have been un <laughs> uneventful crits pop. Yeah, we'll do, we'll just go with that. Looks like raging Cauc no raging Caucasian is the blue spy right now. Um, who's Bo is red spy. Here comes the red crits popped on Kella, um, getting air blasted away, and oh. Oh, here comes an Uber. And that is the danger in running crits on defense is you cannot do anything to. Uh, repel that uber spy behind the combo oh and he does get spotted he jumped down didn't look like the uh, pyro noticed him but he got him right in time so blue is making a nice push right here they will probably take this very easily um not has not like it's been easy so far but their cap will be there in just a second meanwhile they have this level three century and some great defense to contend with so we'll see what kind of um, defense they could come up to eliza goes down to some stickies. Here come the stickies from X. But you have that pyro there um, blasting them away. So as long as Xenocyber stays alive... Oh, and just like that, Xenocyber goes down to block belt. So that's going to be pretty big for this defense. So actually, I think that's why they were running crits. They wanted to see if they can force them to pop um, early, that way they couldn't use an Uber to come into this the uh, tunnel. So that was actually a pretty smart move by McCart. But here um, comes the Uber anyway. Um, yeah, Sentry Gun goes down. Neronia really should have uh, wrangled it right there. Neronia goes down as well. So uh, here comes the oh red switch to Uber and pops it on the Pyro, putting it on some nice flames and also switch to Eliza, who is also getting some nice um, work down too. And wow, they really managed to almost wipe out. Blue's, Blue's team right there, which is going to be great for Neronia to build up a second defense. And um, indeed, his teleporter is still up, so that is also going to be good to repopulate the front lines for Red. But yeah, that is an interesting strat to um, try to get the Uber pop early so they wouldn't be able to push into the, into the tunnel with that Uber. Unfortunately, though, Foil was able to build that Uber up pretty fast, so that is, you know, eventually what happened. Yeah, a lot of team, there's a lot of different ideas about how to defend first slash second in Swiftwater. Um, a lot of teams will just build a sentry in the uh, tunnel and then have their team kind of defend in the yard. Um, some teams, which I believe what our original strategy was, was to try and have Rope Burn build in the yard. Um, and then start setting up in tunnel, and if that didn't, then the moment his sentry got went down, start building in tunnel, um, that clearly didn't work. It kind of fell apart, so he had to switch to minis, and it was kind of a mess. But mm. McCart seemed to uh, pull off their defense pretty well. It worked for a good while. Indeed, and now we've seen Neronia build on this um, third point a fairly standard roof sentry which is very nice if he can get the protection because it is easily spammable from the house over here so depending on the, the uh, defense he gets from his team 
may or may not be a good position. So now we have just a little lull in the action. We'll go in the phase cam, see if he can't get a nice pick. Scout well, him. he's oh. got he's spy on him. Yep, Raging Caucasian does take him down with that revolver, so he is, Raging Caucasian is dead ringing. I don't think he's going to escape this, though. Nope, indeed he goes down to the flames. Oh, also, well, Jordan, the, the scatter gun, and also the flames of Xenophy Cyber. So Black Belt is pushing in here to the yard, um, getting some crazy spam from the other demo. Foil is... I don't like this position of Foil, because he is at 50%, uh, easily spammable, and now he has nobody to, oh, to heal. He basically, it's a nice pick on Black Belt, and that's going to stall this push pretty quickly. Yes, and Foil is forced to retreat. Oh, and then FaZe gets a headshot on Vindicus, the blue sniper. <laughs> and a foil Roper, decided, that. Roper decided he was had enough with that heavy up there and just went up, surprised Kella, took him down with a shotgun and tried to tried to hold that upper house a bit and then got called out and taken down pretty quickly. But that was a, an interesting spy maneuver by the uh, blue engineer. Yeah, sometimes you got to do what you got to do if your team's not doing it. Combat NG is the way to go. Let's see, Foil went down. I didn't see that pick, but that's going to be huge. There is his dead body. Unfortunately, his, that Uber did not... Or maybe it was the end of the Uber. I don't know. Anyway, there's the cap. It was 5 minutes and 30 seconds left. Blue is making some pretty good time. They probably will be able to beat oops, the last boss's time... Or, um, McCart's time. And depending on that last defense, though, um... McCart put, puts up. McCart lost their NG there. Um, TLB should have pushed up and tried to spam out the sentry while the engineer wasn't there to repair or wrangle it. I'm not entirely sure why they didn't. They um, got a lot of people and were, I guess, okay with just sitting on the cart. But, I don't know. It happens sometimes. <laughs> How are your comms usually um, in matches? Is it chaos, or are you guys usually communicate pretty well? We're we're pretty calm. Um, there are some times where it gets it's chaotic. Um, we we pretty much determined that payload is hands down our worst game mode. Oh really? I I don't know what it is. I don't know. I mean we we work on it. We we scrim on it more now. Um, we've gotten better. But just there there are a couple of blatantly obvious things that sometimes we we miss. Like again pushing up after we get a wipe or how we set up defense. Um, it's a working process. We're we're a lot better at more DM style maps, capture the f or um, capture point, king of the hill, that kind of thing. I um, just saw a huge stab go down from Bio, who got foil, who was close to an Uber there. So that's gonna stop a blues push again, which is gonna build up some nice time for red. But I get what you're saying. It's interesting how teams um can have different map styles um, that they're good at. My team was we basically all met on. Um, Gold Rush server that we played, you know, pretty much 24/7. So we were really good at payloads. Those were our our jam, if you will. Oh, and again, Roper just doing some crazy aggressive engineer action, trying to take down with his shotgun. Let's see, the level three did go down. Neronia is trying to build up fast. He's got some help um, defending from his. Pybro and his medic and his heavy and there he oh no he's getting spammed don't know if this is gonna stay up uh. he's eating a lot of spam from the uh, rocket and X is poking in and trying to get as many pills as he can but um they're just content Eric is just sitting up top and shooting one rocket at a time at that sentry here comes the uber the blue uber is popped but the red uber on the pyro is popped in retaliation, which is an excellent strategy, just blowing back that, that uber. And then um, Xenocyber chases down Foil. He doesn't manage to get the kill. Foil does escape. But wow, Blue really managed to wipe out a lot of red there. And this is the time for the last bosses to push. And indeed they do cap that point. They only have 2 minutes and 30 seconds left, though, to cap the rest. Roper again somehow got behind propped down a mini sentry and went wild with the shotgun. <laughs> so, I don't, I always seem to lose track of him and he, he just, he likes flanking, I guess, on payload offense and it, it works pretty well. There was a mini sentry down there doing a lot of damage and I don't think Red noticed where that was. 
Yeah, the thing with Inji on uh, offensive payload is you don't have a huge role. You put down teleporters, maybe a dispenser if your your team is clustered around something, but otherwise you're just a glorified, well, a slow scout with a mini sentry, and it's um, kind of fun just to play around with that, see what kind of flanks you can get and surprise attacks. Card is being pushed uh, with very good time. T well, time's two on it right now. They need to get somebody else. Where is that scout? Um, but yeah, the a mini sentry right up here is going to be nice to buy some time. Black belt dropping down. Uh, and decides to get back out there. He was a little bit out of position. Eric on soldier for TLB is also switched to the direct hit, and assuming that they're going to want to try and take out the sentry without an Uber if they can. Oh, Eliza and Justin Observer coming from behind with a huge crit that takes down half of the team on the cart. So that is intense. That's going to really, really, really hurt uh, the last boss's uh, chance at beating Clay McCart's time because now they have to respawn, rebuild up that Uber. Um, indeed, looks like Eric is still alive, but he's not going to be able to take down a sentry by himself, direct hit or not. And so now Blue, Blue has to retake most of the yard and they're being pressured. So that uh, switch to crits there was an excellent strategy by Clay McCart. Um, and then coming in from behind is also an another excellent strategy. <laughs> Ropeburn again taking down Kella on the cart. I don't know. All right, we're going to the Ropeburn game. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I just. I've noticed in the past, just Ropeburn shotgun apparently does not like Kella. I don't know whether Kella's been weak or not, but he seems to always get behind her, and I. I don't know. He's, he's doing something. He's just put down a sentry in front of the level three, and then managed to escape it before taking any damage. And now he's spamming down the sentry with his his shotgun. Man, Ropeburn is crazy. That's awesome, though. I love crazy engineers. Uh, Neronia, though, has this level 3 up, looking very good with his uh, team around him. And three seconds left. Last buses are not going to be able to do this. Wow. So first round, it goes to Clan McCart. Um, it's actually pretty surprising to me, because they put up a hefty time there that mm, I don't know, the last boss just should have been able to, to beat. I don't know. What did you see with your team that... Uh, that lost them this round. The um, lack of pushing after they got wiped. There were a couple of times there that they had some. They wiped out almost all of red, and they were content with just sitting on the cart and not pushing far forward as, as much as they could. And, and just as well as that, the lack of constantly having times three on the cart, I think, killed them. There were a lot of times where they just had one or two people on the cart. Um, and that times three really does make a difference when, as you saw in that game, it come, came down to a matter of seconds. Alright, looks like we're going to have to go to another demo for the conclusion of this match, so we will meet you back here. Game. Alright, we're back with the second half, and we're going to watch the Neronia cam. Interesting. He set up a tele... Hmm. That's interesting. We'll have to see about that. Wasted a lot of time to selling up a, setting up a tele in the back. But, yeah, well, we'll just see where that goes. Meanwhile, we have Last Bosses now setting the time for the push. And would you like to go over your roster? For yeah, believe that? it or not, I'm, I'm actually pretty familiar with, with these people. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you can say a little something about them. <laughs> um, we actually have a sub-medic foil in place of ZFX. I believe he, he was on vacation. I don't remember. But foil on medic, X the demo man, Eric on soldier, Thief on Sniper, DJ Operator on Pyro, Black Belts on Heavy, Ragin on Spy, Ropeburn on NG, and Jump 4 under the uh, name Blue for this game on uh, Scout. I see. Why do people do that? I, I don't know, but you'll, you'll always be able to tell Jump 4 because he's the Scout who refuses to use the standard or the vanilla scatter gun. Yes. Alright, so Justin Observer is running the crits again. Looks like they did pop early to get some crit stickies down, and so now they do not have anything going to counter. Oh, they, there's a crit sticky there that nobody noticed. Ah, uh, but does not oh. do a lot of action. So I'm not sure I like that strategy. I think you should really stick with the normal. Or at least not pop early. Um, so you do have that crits well, to counter. They, they have crits oh. again, and foil takes a nice headshot from a uh, phase. And Justin Observer goes down to some nice Dickies spam or uh, pill spam from uh, Zarlor. No, Eliza, Eliza. No. X. X, there we go. 
crazy names. Just go down the roster, you'll get them eventually. Yeah, it's... eventually. There's only 18 people. Alright, so anyway, Blue is pushing fast and furious. And it looks like they will be able to cap this point in a very nifty little time. Red did not put up a great defense right there. Um, but I think they're really uh, planning to oh. put their defense... Foil went down to some spam. He was caught out of position. And I'm not sure if he knew where to go. That's that's going to be a big drop because he just dropped Uber and they need to get rid of the sentry. Meanwhile, seeing some amazing Pyro action right here from Xeno Cyber. Uh, he does go down eventually, but he was just reflecting like crazy, and that really enabled Neronia to keep up his sentry gun. Oh, but his oh okay. I thought for a minute his dispenser was bugging, and it uh, looks like. You know when that happens, when the sapper doesn't go away, even though you've hit it five times. That's frustrating. Uh, I've ha actually, that happened to me on the Swiftwater map in about the same position uh, during a match. Um, I about cried. Even though we were rolling the other teams, it wasn't that bad, but anyway. Very frustrating. So, it looks like they have this nice little setup. It's really going to depend if Foil can stay alive. Let's go on the Foil cam, because he has been having some problem working up that Uber. Red Pop crits and didn't really get anything out of it, so Blue's going to have as much time as they want to build up Uber, assuming they can keep Foil safe. Looks like Bayo had a couple of big... Bio, oh, I keep saying it wrong. Bio had a couple of good stabs there, and uh, Roper is complaining in chat, did you really just <laughs> face stab me? <laughs> X able to take down the sentry without popping Uber. That's... now they popped Uber, but... Yeah, they are being blown back by Xenocyber, so they're not able to do a ton of damage. They weren't able to take down the dispenser, and the dispenser is what really matters, um, personally. So, yeah, now there's a level 2 back up, and so that is some great work right there. Eliza, meanwhile, getting some big crit, or uh, not even crits, just regular stickies down, and taking down 3 of blue. Eric snuck around all the way, and pretty much went face to face with their demo and I don't think either of them noticed each other and he eventually got shot down by that that sentry but I don't know how he got there without anybody seeing him so we got some sticky spam going down, the sapper going down, oh and Neronia is down so there goes the level 3 X taking down everything oh and the medic X, X just took down Red himself that was that was big. Oh. That was oh, that was that was a nice little probably five or six k. Way to go, X. I guess I guess you're here for a reason. <laughs> oh, that's that's nice. <laughs> um, I'll start on his camera because he's now pushing. He's actually kind of spawn camping right now. He's getting pressured, so he may not have the easiest time with it. But yeah, he's being super aggressive, and then he just sticky jumps out of there. Oh man, demo men are crazy. I'd love to see them. And he tries to yep eats a sandwich. Very nice. Oh, but foil goes down to a backstab by Bo. Um, they were up there on the little cliff, and um, Bio had their number. Meanwhile, Just Observer is way out of position. He's getting pressured by Blue, the scout. Um, pulls out the Uber saw. Not gonna work. And Just Observer does go down, except to a sticky from Blue as well. Eliza goes down too. So looking good for Blue in the push right now. Blue the scout, and also Blue the color. Oh, except Bio gets on the scout and uh, backstabs that. X again there, getting good four or five kills and taking out the sentry gun so even though Foil didn't have Uber there, X was able to wipe out their sentry and push them back, however Blue again content with just sitting on a cart and not pushing forward after that which is going to be a problem on offense. You need to on payload you need to push as far forward as you can and leave people back to push the cart. Um, if you if your entire team sits on the cart that lets the other team build up their defense which means you have to repush all the time, and that's it's just not fun. Yeah, you're right. I definitely think that's the problem right here for the last bosses. Mm, looks like they're just waiting to build up that Uber, and really, they could have done a lot more with that push right there. We're gonna stay on. I'm gonna try to get on the X cam because I keep missing all of his good work. Oh, but here comes the red Uber popped, and I can't find it. Where did it go? Oh, well, there was there was more X if if you got that. There was another four or five kills by <laughs> No, I didn't. Oh their my demo god. Man. Oh, poor X. I'm sorry, X. Alright, let's find oh he's down now, of course. Alright, so there's the cap. Five minutes twenty eight seconds is pretty good time. Jump mm. four going big there, taking out quite a few. And their and Zarlo. I think jump four just got a nice little three or four K. Jump four. And red is white. Or sorry, blue. 
Jump four, can you just put your name? What yeah. it always is. Stop changing it up. Killing me, man. Blue, Blue Scout. Blue Scout. Yes. Um, but again, they seem content with. Again, their entire team is on the cart when they need to have um, Blue Scout and probably just Engineer on cart, and they need to push forward. They're doing that. X is doing that a little bit by himself, but um, Red is back up and in full force. All right, I'm gonna stay on the X cam and get some of these awesome kills. Of course, and then he'll probably get sniped or something. This is usually mm. how it goes with with me <laughs> covering. Especially, someone. especially with Phase. Oh yeah. Um, There's a reason. He he wasn't voted into the All Star game for nothing. No, I actually I heard it was uh, rigged. <laughs> of course not. UGC does great work, but yeah, he's an excellent, excellent sniper. Looking forward to that game. And I'm, oh, here comes a red Uber trying to push people back. They do a good job indeed of retaking this yard. Oh, mutant Roopern going crazy, trying to get uh, trying to get the the uh, blah, blah, blah. Demo, Eliza, but uh, gets taken down. Air X, again, getting... <sighs> damn it. I mean, darn, he uh, got Pill, a... Pills for everybody. Yeah, I missed that. Alright, so now he's trying to take down the sentry gun without a Uber, an Uber, so he is being quite aggressive and ballsy right there, which is really fun. He's getting pushed back, literally, by the, the pyro, so he's not able to do too much. Roper and getting a nice fist on a Bo as well. That's that's always a nice moment as an engineer. Is when spies try and stab you, you just whip out yours and you're like, I can melee too. That's yeah. Cool. Yep. I have a metal fist. You want to go? <laughs> oh man, Eliza getting some big stickies down on the the cart and manages to take down X. A buff banner pops, but that's not going to help taking down the sentry. They're not going to be able to use a buff banner if that sentry's there. Okay. Good idea, not the best execution. Right, and maybe if uh, X didn't go down there, he would have had that buff banner and could have helped take out the engineer, which of course then helps take out the sentry gun, but that unfortunately did not happen. Um, rope burn, again, just being super aggressive. Uh, this guy cracks me up. Um, blue Uber was forced to pop. Eliza did some good work on that forced pop. Uh, Eliza go does go down, but that blue Uber was completely wasted right there, so really unfortunate for the last bosses. So some nice, uh, aggressive action right there from Eliza. So that'll delay their push at least another minute while they build up that Uber again. Oh, but X and Foil take down the sentry gun without an Uber. So X going big and didn't even need that Uber. Meanwhile, they need to get on the cart. Roper does get on the cart, but he's taken down. And... X and Foil are trying to do as much damage as they can, but they can only do so much, and the rest of the team needs to get on the cart. Ah! <laughs> At this point in time, you should probably just start suiciding players on the cart just to get it pushed a little bit more. And when it gets, if it gets close enough, then Red Team has to jump on the cart to stop it, and then you can just spam with the demo and get an easy bunch of kills, damage, and... Roper and again trying to flank around. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Um, Thief just got a crazy headshot on Kella in midair, and that helps them cap the point. And let's see, nine minutes, eleven seconds. Is not. I don't know. How would you feel about that time? That's a that's a pretty good time. Um, especially since the last rounds they were going at about nine. I think what was the last cap? Like twelve. 12 I think was 12, the first. 14. Yeah, that they had to fight. So, um, that's that's a decent time. It's not bad by any means, but it's not especially great by any means. Um, I'd be I'd be happy with it and say like, hey, we just we need to do what we gotta do on defense and we should be able to get this. Yep, sounds about right. Let's see what Ropeburn is doing. It looks like oh no, teleporter in the tunnel. Kind of slow getting out there. We'll see if he can get his stuff up. Looks like Oh, interesting. A very forward sentry. He's not going to be able to get this to level 3. Um, which is kind of just, you know, throwing away that first sentry and that build-up time that you get. In addition, none of the team members suicide. Is that is that uh, part of your strategy? Do you ever suicide for your NG on these um, setup we maps? We do. I'm not sure why we didn't hear... Um, actually, I'm, to be honest, I'm looking at our defense here and I'm not really sure we're doing a lot of things. I believe... Roper is doing the he's he's kind of that's a throwaway sentry, um, and he'll probably build and tunnel or build another one the moment that one goes down. He just wants them to, to try and focus that, see if he can get a little extra damage, 
um, before he puts up an actual one. But, I mean, he's trying to it, but I don't think he's going to be too upset if that one goes down. All right. And he goes down to phase because Ooh. he's phase. Yeah, so that actually is not a good idea because now he has a... Uh, I think it was about 14 second respawn, so it'll take him a while to get back up to even the tunnel. So I don't know. I like the he idea. Let's have the teleporter up. Yeah. Um, here comes the blue Uber managing to come in behind the team, and Kella is wiping out everyone. Actually, BO2, the spy, is getting some nice headshots and revolver action going on there. So blue is going to handily push forward and take this point. Um, actually, was, everyone but Roper is down. <laughs> that was all McCart's assassin classes. FaZe took out, I think, X in the beginning, so they were down, or McCart, sorry, TLB was down a lot of damage. Then BO came in and wiped out everybody that he could. And I think at that point, people were, just, or TLB was a little confused what was going on. They were getting headshot, they were getting backstabbed. Um, and there was a nice push, coordinated push by McCart that uh, led to that downfall. So that's some great work there by the assassin classes. Assassin class means, of course, sniper and spy, or as I call them, the sneaky classes, or the classes I can't play. <laughs> but that doesn't really narrow it down. Ropeburn, um, interestingly enough, deserted his his uh, all of his gear to go chase down a spy, and um, everything but the sentry went down. Faze like gets a nice pick on black belt as well, so they're going to be down a heavy to counter this Uber. And indeed, there goes the sentry gun. Just an observer manages to stay alive through all that. Meanwhile, the foil does have an Uber, but I don't... Uh, oh no, he's got the crits, and the crits is popped on X. X getting some damage down, takes down FaZe, but doesn't is not able to take down anybody else. So interesting decision there to go with the crits, but uh, not very successful. Meanwhile, the point is capped. About 6 minutes and 30 seconds left to get the rest of it. Um, definitely possible, but definitely possible to to prevent that. I'm yeah, they, the good thing about capping, or what McCart did here, is they've capped this point, which means that the, uh, the forward spawns from this house are actually inaccessible to right now, so they, actually, they have to go from the third point and kind of walk around. It's, it may not seem like much of a big deal, but on defense, when your spawn times are already 15 to 20 seconds long, um, every bit of time getting back to the battle is going gonna, is gonna to matter. Um, just watching the phase cam for just a little bit, and he got three shots, or three kills, so he is um, disgusting. And I feel that's, sorry. That's phase. Yeah. <laughs> so I that's guess you're kind of lucky you didn't play in this one against them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so blue is pushing up. Nice. They are doing exactly what the last bosses did not, which is pushing up, leaving some classes on the cart, and really trying to target down these spawn areas. Um, so there is Ding, the cap for that third point, and they're actually making a lot of quick progress. So some nice work going down from McCart. Yeah, that was that was smart. Again, they they were able to get there fast enough that Roper wasn't able to set anything up. Um, some of the players were caught outside of spawn after they capped it, so they were stuck basically with their backs against a wall, backs against a wall with no way out, and they were just eating spam without a medic. They eventually went down, so red red nearly got wiped, even though they didn't even have a defense on on the third point. So uh, McCart actually just got a free cap out of that, which is going to help their time quite a bit. Absolutely, and just saw blue actually going uh, pretty big with the uh, soda popper there. He does that a lot. Oh man, I hate that. I, it's fun if you, you, you're you the scout, but if you're not, it's so frustrating. I, um, I, I like scouting in lobbies, and I use the soda popper, and I get yelled out by their medics a lot. A lot of people don't realize that um, they think it's all about the uh, two damage, or the, the increased mini crit damage. Um, and two shots, and like, well, you can still do more damage with a scatter gun. Part of the usefulness of it is mini crits don't have take fall off, um, or the damage. There's no fall off on damage for mini crits, so you can do damage like you can do 130 damage meat shot from mid range against a medic, which is great. Um, and if you use in coordination with a pistol as well, you have pistol shots that can do 20 damage a pop from any range, and that's 
That's useful. You can take out a lot of things with that. Indeed, so it looks like he has put some good thought into the weapon choice for these matches. FaZe uh, getting Thief's number again. Actually, I did see earlier Thief did um, get FaZe's number, so we won't completely... Whoa, so X just going big. Actually getting this one on cam. Very happy about that. He was just able to wipe out everybody who was on the cart, and only three up now for Blue, so that's significantly going to delay their push, and they only have about three minutes, 15 seconds left. I think the big difference in this one is just looking at the scores. The assassin classes from a cart are doing work. I love you, Ragin, but um, looking at TLB, Ragin's at 26 and Thief's at 23, versus Bo at 52 on Spy and Phase at 41, so they're being doubled by their uh, their counterparts there. I think that's that's starting to to show a bit when you when you can get free picks on the medic or big classes um, that can really help you out. Yeah, indeed, those assassin classes when played correctly are almost yeah <laughs> unstoppable, uh, obviously. All right, so blue and of course, as I say that because Ragin likes proving me wrong, gets a nice pick on the medic. Oh, right wow. after I said that, um, sorry, Ragin. I, I guess I won't doubt you next time. Yeah, well, here comes the red Uber, um, popped on the demo, who's putting some nice work down. But meanwhile, that was popped on the demo, and the heavy just came up and cleaned out, which was a nice strategy right there. Was that a, is that a strat that you guys use a lot, or is that just a coincidence? I think that was just it just kind of happened. All right, well it was good because so everyone was uh, looking at that demo and his spam. Uh, Black Belt was able to just mow down uh, some of those players on the cart, but not enough. It looks like here comes a big push by Blue. He's gonna have to contend with this wrangled level three and a nice defense here on the green. We'll see what the assassin classes can do right here because. Uh, for a wrangled uh, sentry gun, those assassin classes can be so lethal. Just a one headshot or one backstab, and the entire defense can melt. Oh, and there goes Bio. He got picked out. Almost, almost got a nice backstab on Roper, and then DJ Operator turned around right in time to catch him. But yeah, pushing into a wrangled mini sentry, if you if you want to take advantage in time, the best way to do that is have one of your assassin classes get a pick on the engineer. Um, that way you don't have to use an uber to push through it. If you can get a nice headshot, backstab, whatever, you can quickly sap it, you can quickly tell your sniper and your soldiers to shoot at it, and that'll com that'll help you a lot in pushing. Looks like Raging Caucasian is able to make it behind Blue's lines. Let's see if he can prove you wrong again. He does indeed get a stab on the engineer, but he will really want to get a stab on Justin Observer because they are close to uber right now. Foil does have an uber to retaliate and respond with, but uh, yeah, Raging Caucasian takes down FaZe, which is actually very, very helpful for uh, for this team. But here comes the uber. He's not able to prevent that uber. Red uber has yet to be popped. There it goes. Popped on the demo. And X is putting down a lot of damage, but they abandoned the cart. No, get back to the cart, guys. Sniper is the only one left, and oh, wow. Oh, they came back just in time. There's 10 seconds left. And they, yeah, but here's the problem is that when the cart's this close, you have to jump down. And there and, we go. And that, yep. Wow, just a matter of seconds, McCart is able to push that cart in and take the round and also the game. So, wow, that was an excellent match. Uh, what do you think, as a member of The Last Bosses, what did you see in your team? I saw that right after I, I was dogging on Ragin, he doubled his points <laughs> and decided to prove me wrong. Um... Otherwise, I saw, again, I think the big issue there was, which is something we discussed after this game, was not pushing forward after we wiped them. Um, McCart did that very well. We did not. Um, and McCart also seemed to be a lot, or much better coordinated on defense than we did. Um, either way, it was a great, it was a great game. Um, FaZe, of course, went big. Both heavies did a lot, did a lot of work. Bio, Bio appeared to be quite something to handle he was, he was going crazy um, and I feel like not having our usual medic there was part of the issue um, I'm like, I love Foil he's a great, great guy but 
ZFA. There are a couple of times where Ubers were popped, like you mentioned when he popped in on X, where it seemed like it was a little uncoordinated. Um, so it happens. It was a great game either way. McCart's a very good team. So it, it, was, it was a fun game to cast, a fun game to watch. Wish I could have been there, but not cool enough, I guess. Yeah, some of us will never get that glory. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. really appreciate your commentary. It was excellent having you with me on the cast. No problem. Anytime. All right, and also thank you to the viewers out there who are watching. Um, remember, subscribe to all my stuff, all that fun stuff. Um, and thanks so much for joining me on Kip TV, and have a good day, guys.